agree today that the technology of Sigfox is a good technology. We all agree today that in terms of efficiency, in terms of power consumption and cost, there is no technology which can even get close to it. Agunabiz has saved the zero-g community, and this is not a small feat. So when you do software, connectivity, and hardware together, in our case, you're able to really learn and go very deep in terms of what it means to bring solutions to market. IoT is about combining technologies. It's been a bliss to have all these countries gathered together into this place where Fox technology is born and where now we are going and taking that technology to the next stage with all the operators around the world. We have been gathering these three days to focus into working into how we can make the different LP1 technology converge into a simpler offer because not only we need that, the society need that and the environment need that. There are now global challenges energy sobriety, low power, and LPWA technology has never been so relevant. Now it's time to act. We are una, we are one. It's not a new start, but it's really a continuation of what we can do with the ecosystem. So we're really proud to be part of it. Unibis really shows it has the right mindset. It can really drive the other operators to a global vision and that's really what we need. Customers are trusting us, are trusting the ecosystem and I think we're looking forward to a bright future. It's really important to have that service contingency and that trust also uh, that Sigfox technology is, is going to grow in future, right? For, for the customers, they don't care about technology, they care about solutions because technology is boring. Data is interesting. We are all together today and then, uh, we are very much excited to talk to uh, people. KCCS is fully committed to keep the uh, continuity of our business uh, together with Unabis. I think Unibus is playing a great role in bringing the ecosystem together and I think not only locally here in Europe but also to ensure that all operators across the globe have a fair chance at, at success. And it's been uh, you know, quite exciting to meet with many of the other operators from around the world and to hear the wonderful insights and all of the uh, excellent use cases. So it's been uh, very, very positive. Obviously with Unibiz that there'll be a greater sense of collaboration right across the entire partner ecosystem that they will continue to bring more solutions to market to really accelerate uh, that adoption of Industry 4.0 that I refer to. So the ecosystem we have still the biggest unified IoT ecosystem in the world and that's a huge asset for us. At the end of the day, customers, partners, they are not buying technology. They are buying solutions. No single technology can solve all their issues and problems. Yes, we do sell Sigfox and we know how Sigfox works, but we also know how all the other ones work anyway. So why not use that expertise to give the client independent non-biased advice. It's a new context in which we meet also within the community. That it's great to have a concept of a circle rather than a frontal approach. So in a way what I take from it is, uh, as well is exactly that. It's a circle. It's a circle of friends. It's so exciting to welcome people from more than 70 countries gathered here with a common vision making massive IoT a reality. I want to thank all the Zero-G operators coming from all around the world to come to La Berge here in order to brainstorm and share our experience together. Because we believe that it's only when operators are successful that Unabiz can be successful. And we want to work for this ecosystem all together globally. Unabiz believes in a unified LP1 world. And I think that uh, all the Zero-G operators are welcoming this movement because 
actually we are moving from a technology centric company to a customer centric company and this is a change of mindset that everybody is welcoming because this is what the customer needs. I don't know, I had to say something.